Just a real quick video here, school holidays here in Australia. My wife and kids have just popped out for a brief moment, so I've got some silence in the house, and I wanted to use this moment of silence, this opportunity to thank. I've got 1,504 subscribers so far that have supported the channel, and I really wanted to use this airtime to thank all those people out there, 1,504, and it might be even a few more by the time this video goes live for supporting this channel. It really means a lot. I love videos and I love cycling and to see, particularly in the last week or so, the rapid acceleration, it's really put a massive smile on my dial. So I really want to thank you. Uh, in fact, I've even been getting up in the mornings and the first thing I've been doing, I shouldn't be checking my phone, but I have been checking, going straight to YouTube and seeing how many more people have jumped on board this channel and it's really made me excited. So thank you very much. While I'm here, I wanted to use this airtime to sort of talk to you about what this growth means for the channel, what we can do with it and additionally some planned content on this channel over the next month or so. So I'm gonna start with the growth of the channel and the power this gives us is, I've had a lot of requests to do certain things like I recently did a review on the Venge versus the Tarmac. People wanna see a review of the Venge versus say the Trek Madone or the System 6. And the hardest part of doing these reviews is actually getting access to those particular products. And by having more support on this channel, by growing, by more views, um, by more thumbs up and likes and people commenting, etc., basically means that I'm more capable of getting certain products and doing certain comparisons and reviews, which align to you know what some of you really want to see. Additionally, the growth and the support on this channel means that I will probably be able to get access to. Uh, more people for interviews for the inspirational and entertaining cycling stories genre that I have on this channel. So I'm very excited about the growth and I owe it all to you. So thank you so much. Additionally, future content on this channel over the next month or so. So if you're just getting to know me, I've been training for a criterium season, which is about to hit here in Melbourne. Actually, it starts next Sunday. And I race A grade here in Melbourne, which is a a pretty illustrious cycling scene. Most of the riders in A grade are either trying to make it pro or have been pro and come back and now ride in the local scene. So it's not an easy feat to win an A grade criterium. I'm just some regular bloke who took up cycling 10 years ago when I was age of 27. Now I'm a dad with two kids. And I really, for whatever reason, I've just, I've been dicking around in A grade for a while and I've Wanted to have a goal this year, a cycling goal, and I chose I want to try and win an A-grade criterium. So there's going to be a lot more criterium footage coming. But in those videos, what I want to do is I don't just want it to be about footage of me racing my bike. I also want to speak to some interesting and insightful people so I can share some tips and insights on training, race tactics, etc. Outside of criterium racing, my next review is going to be on a titanium road bike. This is the first time I've ever ridden a titanium road bike from Curve Cycling. So that'll be out in the next couple of weeks. And then after that, I'll be reviewing a giant road bike. I'm not sure which one I'm being given yet, but this will be the first time I've actually ever ridden a giant as well. So I'm looking forward to that. And lastly, I've created a new segment on the channel called Let's Go For A Ride With. And it's all about introducing me and you to interesting and insightful personalities within the local cycling community. Previously, I went for a ride with Tommy Nan Curvis, who shared some insights on criterium racing, particularly training, and also Carter Turnbull, who's an up and comer in the Australian cycling scene. The next one I have, I'm super excited about. This guy nine months ago was going into the operating theater and there was a likelihood that he wasn't gonna come out. He said he put his hands in the air and he was essentially waving the world goodbye. Well, nine months later, he is preparing for the World Transplant Games. He's gonna be cycling and I'm gonna go for a ride with him and he's gonna share his inspirational and I've got goosebumps just even talking about it, his amazing story. So I'm looking forward to being able to share that with you. So that's pretty much it. I just wanted to use this airtime to engage and say thank you so much. Really appreciate your support. It means a lot to me. I think it means a lot for what we can do with this channel and I'll catch you in the next video.